Uh, one of the things we did during the year was pop in to see the residents of our favourite street in Leeds. Now, as it's Christmas, they're back for one night only and they've come dressed for the occasion. Grab the mince pies. Oh, how lovely is this? What a wonderful spread. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! I'm looking forward to Christmas. Has anybody else got plans? I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the modern look and the 18th century oven. <laughs> I'm excited for Christmas this year, but it'll just be like a small gathering for us with like close family, I think. What I must admit I'm scared of is that at the last minute they're going to say you can't have people round at Christmas again. Well, people did sacrifice a lot last year, didn't they? You know, people followed the rules, did what they were asked and, you know, didn't see loved ones. For the first time in my lifetime, I didn't see my sisters. We're hosting all my family on Boxing Day and I'm asking everybody to do a lateral flow before the club. Just pop them in the crackers, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's an idea. Yeah. You yeah. presence lateral flow, eh, yeah? Lateral flow test in a mask. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'll dare lock us down before Christmas because I think people won't do it. They've, yeah. they've lost that faith and they want to do it. They do, we do have another lockdown in January, is we can come out in the street and chat again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this new Omnicrom, or whatever it's called, um, <laughs> variant is causing a bit of a stir, isn't it? So the more infections, the more opportunity there is for, for them to mutate. I, I saw queues of people waiting for the vaccines now, which I suppose is better than people not coming forward, isn't it? Do you think some of that's because they've introduced the past, though? So if you've not got your vaccines, you can't go places Maybe, and people have yes. started to panic. <laughs> Although I did, we did do a couple of first vaccines last weekend when I was working, so that was a good sign that people are actually thinking, oh, well, maybe... You've got a special I... bell for that. <laughs> yeah. You should have a special bell, first-timer. <laughs> this year, it's been amazing. What do you think of the couples oh, in the final? Wait, Isn't it so diverse? Wait, wait, wait. Rose, of course, as you know, is deaf, and I'm, one of my sisters is deaf, so that kind of touched me quite a lot. It's the first time that we've ever seen two men dancing together. The Argentine tango as well, that was just absolutely out of this world. And apparently the very first Argentinian tango was danced between two men anyway, back in history. So it was a... Oh, just it's quite a amazing. groundbreaking kind of show, isn't it? it you don't, you don't associate so. Saturday yeah. evening TV yes, with being... True. Like, you know, on the cutting yeah. edge of society. There's not a pin to choose between them, is there? They're all winners. Well, hasn't this been great, all being able to get together again? But I think we're going to have to go. Yeah, great to see everybody. And have a great Christmas, everyone. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. Oh, it's so lovely to see them all again, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it nice? And they're all so jolly, so <laughs> nice.